Orange ruffy are not the only fish in danger of extinction. Other Australian fish that are overfished are blue wahoo, which are also sold as seabrim, gemfish, which are also sold as hake, mulloway, which are also sold as jewfish. The new technologies that are used by fishermen to greatly increase the number of fish caught include sonar to find schools of fish, huge drift nets to drag all fish in an area. This form of fishing drags up not only the wanted fish but also unintentionally caught fish and other marine species. These are called the bycatch. The bycatch are usually thrown back overboard. This can be tons of unwanted fish and other species. There are actions we can take to ensure that fisheries are managed in a sustainable way such as choosing not to buy fish that are overfished. This means knowing which fish to buy. If we do not buy the fish then fishermen will not make any money catching the fish. Supporting the fishing quotas that governments have introduced. Quotas limit the amount of fish that fishermen can catch in an area. Quotas allow fish time to breed. Also learning about what is being done by commercial fishermen and large commercial fishing vessels. If we consider that their activities lead to unsustainable ecosystems, we can write to the government. If enough people voice their concerns, governments will take action. An example of this is the problem of overfishing by super trawlers. Super trawlers, such as the Margaris super trawler have been banned from Australian waters by the federal government after many people objected to the possible damage they would have on maintaining sustainable fishing. Why did people think super trawlers were bad for sustainable fishing? Super trawlers are a very large fishing trawler. This is a picture of a super trawler compared to a regular fishing trawler. It has a very large drift net that collects an abundance of bycatch. The net can be up to 2.5 kilometres long. 30% of the fish caught are thrown back dead. Super trawlers have had a devastating effect on fish and other marine life in many parts of the world. At present, the ban on super trawlers in Australian waters has been put into place for an indefinite period of time. If this position ever changes, people will need to voice their concerns again.